The thing that freaks me out about ghosts is that it's been a reoccurring theme throughout human history. And it's always, it seems to be connected to some horrific death. Like whenever there's a horrific death, it's almost like, like th that horrible moment, like burns space and time and leaves a residue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that's like trauma, like built into the place or like the energy's there. Right. Um, yeah. To your point, though, what's crazy about it is everybody like has had experiences over, over time. Like you walk into any room and whether people believe or whether people don't, someone's got a story. Mm. Someone's like, okay, I don't know if I believe, but this one time this yeah. happened. And so the fact that like everyone, like pretty much no matter where you go, like has some sort of story, even if they're skeptical, it makes you wonder like, what if, what else is out there? Yeah. There's been countless of times where we'll go to these spots and like maybe we, after hearing the story, we don't think it's going to be like special at all. But the person who owns the spot is like, I levitated last week just staring us straight in the eyes, no hesitation like about it. And like, obviously we've never experienced something that intense with the paranormal, but having dozens of people, like every place we go to say that, it's like, how do you, when do someone you think says they levitate, lying? just say, hey, next time set up your iPhone. Yeah. Get how about camera. film yourself levitating? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, you know, look at them and be like, are you sure? Like how? Yeah, like, what kind of meds are you on while you're levitating? Right. Yeah. Right, 100%. Just, have you guys ever been to the comedy store? No, but we were trying to. Yeah, listen, I can set to. that up. The comedy store is without a doubt haunted. We went if there's there a place a that's haunted in the world, it's the comedy store. Because it used to be a mob nightclub, and they've murdered people there. 100%. That was Bugsy Siegel's nightclub. It was huh. called Ciro's. And in the 1950s, was it the 50s and the 60s? Is that what it was? Um, it but started in the 40s, actually. In the 40s? Yeah. But it, there's, it's a famous old mob run nightclub that Mitzi Shore took over in the 1970s. So the the place has this feel to it. Like it's been run, you know, as an entertainment venue for, you know, 70 years or something crazy like that. Isn't there mm -hmm. a bunch of like underground passageways mm -hmm. around yeah. there too? There's supposedly, there was actually an article about this house on Crest Hill. Here, Whitney Cummings sent it to me, so I'll send, I'll send it to you, Jamie. 